welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of November 28th. And as I always say, these energies can start anytime now and go into the next week. Um, I've had a lot of you um, in the past ask um, if I would ever add cards maybe to these readings like I do with the gemstones and sometimes I add additional cards with my tarot. And what I did is last week uh, for Sagittarius Coffee Cup reading, I did a birthday special for them and I did add the cards and I asked them um, if they liked it. Some commented that they did like it. A lot of them sent me personal emails uh, saying they loved it. So when you get a chance, check out Sagittarius Coffee Cup reading from last week and see if you like it and let me know. And let's see um, your reading here. Ooh, okay. All right, so, you know, the focus is really is um, intuition, new directions, heavy focus on someone or something, spirituality, and really a lot of questions coming up, and they're right out here. You'd be more open with them towards yourself or um, with others, so it's really surfacing here. And really in your foundation, it is showing there are some questions coming in. You're questioning something. Some of you are learning something. Um, there's a mixed energy. Um, thoughts, communications, thinking a lot. So that's what's really showing up there. Um, for some, there is a number one. So, we, okay, you have a few numbers here. You have one, you have seven. And this is almost a seven two. What this is uh, forming a question though one and seven. When numbers come out, they could mean for, for one thing. Um, one is really individuality, and it's also taking a control over things. Sometimes it could be isolation, but this is really, um, um, really presenting individuality. But when you got a seven, also this is again what we're seeing here: spiritually connecting, asking questions, investigating things. Um, really trying to work on some thoughts and things, putting things together, um, which is good. But, and then you got questions, you got a question mark, you got things that are, you're trying to question for others. This could sometimes also mean, uh, one month, one day, seven, seven months, seven days. They, the numbers can figure on like that in a coffee cup reading. When, um, I'm looking out here. Um, some of you are really, um, maybe you got a new job. You're learning something new. If you're in school, you're learning something new. Some of you picked up some kind of course maybe or something. There's some the sense of you're learning something new or learning from others. You're just, um, watching things and you're picking up things and, you know, it's, it's becoming like a learning experience. Um, for others, you are overanalyzing some stuff and there could be a sense of miscommunications. Um, wondering... For others, there you are. Some of you are really working on some kind of presentation, maybe a resume um, on your website. Um, working on something to present is for some that I'm seeing here, and maybe even working on um, improving it. That is really coming in focus with some of you. That could be also working on spirituality. Um, that's another way we're looking. You know, it could be it's a general reading. Um, <clears throat> Oh, wow. Well, there's a heart in the personal side, but there is also some of you are really working on your foundation, home, family, um, the home, um, assets, lots of, you know, it's just building on your foundation here. It's health, home, uh, family, lifestyle, another seven again. It's asking a lot of questions and connecting there. Um, it's also that tells me sometimes you need to be uh, more keeping things to yourself. So um, as I always say, like discretion is advised. Uh, that's another way we could look at. But there's a sense of um, maybe an overanalyzing or there is a sense of a little bit of obsessive energy. Um, but you could be focusing on a person or things or <laughs> there's something that you're just very focused on. Um, <clears throat> the feel I get is because there could be some kind of absence um, and you're over focusing on it and it becomes a like almost an emotional response and uh, and it could be could become control you know it's controlling your own emo it, it, it controls your emotions um, and things may not be exactly <clears throat> as you assume because <clears throat> we got so many sevens here so it's really investigate more um, that's what's there <clears throat> 
sorry, I got a frog in my throat. And then when I'm looking at the matters of the heart, um, for some of you, you're missing someone. And it could be from a distance or it, it could be, you know, someone you haven't maybe seen for a while or you just, they come and go, come and go is the sense I'm getting also. And overanalyzing a person or a situation. It's a matters of the heart. So it's something important here for, you know, that touches your heart. It is also saying be realistic in, in your assumptions about others too. You could be forming some um, impulsive um, emotional decisions. Um, someone could be... Let me see this. You know, there is a sense again, Pisces, that um, there are others that could be using you. Someone could be using you, um, locking over you like a doormat. Um, don't let that happen. And some of you may be thinking, wait, you know, because um, someone could be trying to fool you and make you sound like you're the bad guy or the bad girl. And um, or like, oh, you need, you know, this is normal or you know what I mean? sense of um manipulation in a way too it's emotional manipulation but you know if you get that feeling yeah you're probably right so it's saying you know uh watch out don't let it emotionally affect you you know just clear out anyone like that stop it just make a you know don't let others walk over you um but uh, there is a sense of watch what you say or don't overreact to some um, emotional responses. Don't make any impulsive emotional responses is what it's telling me also. Again, we got a question mark here and we got a spade coming in. So there could be some assumptions or conclusions that may be not exactly the way they seem. Now, when I'm looking over here, there is luck coming in. It's on your side, you know. Um, a new direction is what I'm seeing and um, questions being answered, questions being answered. So just really be smart. Think, you know, use your that beautiful intuition and connect things together, but be more realistic. There's a sense of you need to be more realistic. You know, don't just um, make any emotional responses, but there is um, new beginnings coming in. Also, um, maybe new directions, um, opportunities opening up, but luck is on your side. So that's really what's figuring prominently. And then when I look at the plate over here, wow. Okay, the first thing I want to focus on is right here. This is a question, um, and it's being answered. But it could also be an obsessive thought, okay? So um, think um, or release is what I'm feeling also. Um, questions, again, some of you are questioning what direction to go in because um, there could be some opportunities opening up. But at the same time, I'm looking here, you know, there's a lucky streak. I see the luck coming in again. Lucky streak. So that's gr uh, great. Opportunities are resurfacing. Um, if it was a missed opportunity or maybe just a new one coming in that you don't know about or rethinking about something. Maybe someone gave you a great idea before about something and you were just thinking about it. But it's open here again and it looks good. Um, For others, again, there is some changes at work or... You know, whatever you focus more on during the day, not everybody has a job or, you know, your business and that there is some changes come um, happening. But um, there is some um, sense of, you know what, reality check. It's like, you know what, some of you are really just going to have this reality check. It's going to div divide illusion um, or denial or whatever. And a reality check is going to come in, but just make sure connect with your intuition, make sure you get all the facts because we have so many sevens in the cup, make sure, um, that, you know, that's it's before you make any conclusion, but there is an opportunity coming and there are some changes coming in. That's what I'm seeing here. And, you know, watch your emotional responses. Um, for some of you, that's going to kick, uh, jumpstart you in some kind of direction. Again, I'm seeing opportunities coming in, so that's good. And um, for others, just don't, you know, calm down. Don't make any um, impulsive emotional um, decisions and things like that. But um, that's about it there. Anyway, Pisces, that was your reading for the week ahead of November 28th. And I hope you have an amazing weekend and catch you back next week for your next Copy Cup reading. Until then, bye guys. AstroJar.com, Astrology and Spirituality Daily. Uh, check that out when you get a chance. My coffee cup readings are up there and also other readers with their own unique methods of reading. Thanks.